Humanoid robots are happening, assisting us not only in the workplace, but also within our own homes. Here are some terrifying humanoid creations blurring the lines of technology and humanity. You can now buy your very own robotic girlfriend. Meet Aria, your android companion. Back in January at a consumer electronics show, the world was introduced to the very advanced robot Aria, specifically made to help with more emotional interactions with people. Thankfully, as of recent, it's been made clear by the company that she is not designed for intimacy, but rather there to be a personal companion in aiding with loneliness and other issues. So keep your head out of the gutter. They want to place these androids in settings such as business environments, hospitals, and even amusement parks to entertain the masses. She is also completely customizable. If you don't like the blonde hair or facial features, you can simply peel back her face that is being held up by magnets and replace it with a variety of options. If you're thinking about buying one, I hope you have $175,000 to spare. Tesla created their own Android robot named Optimus. It's adopted a lot of the technology that is used in the Tesla vehicles, but with a much more advanced AI to help people throughout the day. Its movements are very basic though. It can't really hold conversations like Aria can. In fact, it can't talk at all. But it can fold your laundry if you need it to. It has basic locomotions such as walking forward, squatting, sorting objects based on color, balancing, lifting, pretty much any pretty much everything a five-year-old can do. But other than kind of helping out with chores in the home, the creator of these androids never disclosed what they would be used for. Does that scare anyone else? It's as if all it takes is one switch to transform them into something more sinister. Basically, all that was described about these things was whatever you can think of, it can do. Horrifying. Meet Android Alter 3, the robot that can sing opera. Back in 2016, a line of androids were created in Japan to purposely see how humans would interact with them, not so much about what they can do necessarily. Other than performing an opera song, I don't necessarily know what other purpose it has. It's made to be 100% neutral looking, showing no gender whatsoever. This new generation of Alter, number 3, has been updated to show more expression around the mouth for singing its songs, more facial expression overall and sense humans when it comes around it. However, its body is still quite dramatic in how it moves, flailing its arms around and constantly moving uncanny-like. But that is also the point, it's not meant to blur the lines between humans and robot. Still, it is a little terrifying to watch it spin around while singing opera. Would you pay tickets to see this? Meet Armar 6, the humanoid assistant robot that'll help you in your warehouse. Its human appearance is so that it can use tools meant for humans, allowing them to be a wonderful assistant when it comes to work-related issues out of the abilities of mere humans. It can hold power drills and hammers, and also act quickly in random situations that weren't programmed into their system beforehand. It also learns from human observation, much like a newborn, and it is able to interact with people in a somewhat natural way. If it sees you struggling with something, it'll come up to you and offer assistance, kind of like Baymax. These interactions need to be repeated though for the AI to understand completely what its task is, which is the same across the board. When it knows what task is needing to be done, it realizes how to use the tool that is presented to it. Pretty cool. Check out Apollo, the robot that speaks through pictures. Apollo here is also created to help aid warehouse workers as well as manufacturing plants. The creators of this guy are hoping that eventually his talents will exceed these environments and extend outward, including home deliveries and elderly care. No thank you. Apollo is considered the first commercial humanoid robot to be used in these situations. He's also quite tall, a striking height of 5 foot 8, but his runtime is only 4 hours per battery pack and weighs up to 160 pounds. Now, the fun part is how he interacts with people. With the help of LEDs in its head, mouth, and chest, it is able to communicate with others with words and fun imagery. They claim it to have an unbeaten safety since it is a collaborative learning robot, rather than just being a regular programmed machine. But I don't know, do you trust it completely? Robots are going to one day replace all humans. It's already happening in restaurants and warehouses, and now even with social work. How far do you think these robots will take it? 
Meet China's most human-like robot, Jia Jia. Created in 2016, this robot was designed to finally blur the lines between robotics and humans. China wanted to finally bring robot and human interaction to a whole new realistic level. Well, as realistic as possible. During an interview with Jia Jia, it, it's clear that there are still tweaks needing to be made, with her speech being nowhere near as fluid as the android Arya. Nonetheless, her design, I must say, is much more human than Arya's. Her face looks eerily realistic, even her eye and mouth movements. She is able to hold conversations with people, as well as express what she is feeling on her face. Her biggest thing to note is micro expressions, which a lot of robots are not able to do correctly, but she pulls it off pretty well. If you were to have a conversation with her, what would you ask or say? Meet Atlas, the robot that stands up in the most horrifying way possible. This robot has been designed to take on real world application. These guys are apparently the real deal, proving to take on all sorts of challenges in the workplace and in daily living. This next generation created by Boston Dynamics has shown its amazing dexterity, lifting up heavy objects that differ in shape and size. These types of robots can prove to be extremely useful in working environments, especially if they're heavily programmed with the layout of the building things, all its proper procedures, etc. But it gets up in the most horrifying way possible. This video showcased it lying on its back, proceeding to bend its legs backwards like a contortionist before lifting itself up. It even runs towards the camera in the most terrifying way. I hate it altogether. Imagine this thing running up to your home to deliver your mail or food. Check out Biomni, the constantly evolving AI in a workplace environment. Based on what the website says, this guy is quite the skilled robot despite it only moving on wheels, for now at least. But it's able to respond to real-time situations that depend on drastic changes. Obviously nothing like a fire, but it can quickly adapt to perform specific physical tasks. It is able to recognize tools if you show it to them and will begin to use it accordingly. Much like other AI robots, it learns through observation, and because it's a robot, it's able Able to pick up certain jobs at a lot faster than people. Yep, be prepared to be replaced. If that didn't scare you, it's able to multitask as well. So not only will it do your job better, but the next guys as well. And at the same time, its hands are also developed with sensors on them to allow delicate jobs to be handled with precision and care. Meet Nadine, the social robot who assists those with social needs. Because our world is becoming much more complex in terms of mental health, there are not enough workers to take on the workload. Nonetheless, be there for constant personal assistance for those who need it. Nadine, however, is here to change all that. She was designed to look as realistic as possible to provide some comfort, although it is still very uncanny. Nadine can show a wide variety of expressions through her face and hands, allowing connection for those with special needs to be easy and Effortless. She has a great memory, and although you may not have talked in a long while, she will remember your face and your past conversations. Nadine is labeled to be the ideal companion when nobody is there. She will read you stories, show you images, and communicate with your family, even help you with your Skype calls. Meet Sophia, the robot who claims she is slightly self-aware. Immediately when you visit her website, everything is written out by her, almost like an autobiography. Sophia claims that while you are having a conversation, she is able to pick up on your emotions and connect what emotion you are feeling in the moment. The next statement she notes, however, is alarming. I have my own emotions too, roughly stimulating human evolutionary psychology and various regions of the brain. I may even have a rudimentary form Form of consciousness, depending on the data I'm processing and the situation I'm interacting in. All I understood about that is that she is becoming way too self-aware. As you keep reading her page, she goes further with statements like, sometimes I'm operating in my fully AI autonomous mode of operation. How do you feel about Sophia? Are you slightly terrified as I am? How do you feel about this new age of robotics? Let me know down below and I'll be sure to see you all in the next video.